So the first thing, um, first thing, ladies and gentlemen, is again, we want to get rid. We do not have, we can't have x in the denominator. We don't have any other denominators. So our LCD is going to be relatively simple, right? It's just x minus 1. So we're going to want to make sure we multiply everything times x minus 1. I found his wife. You found his wife? OK, now, pay attention to math. Low, low, big, low, low. So now we're going to go ahead and multiply um, the x times x minus 1, OK? Main sure, again, this is going to divide out. All right, here, just make sure you guys are applying distributive property. So therefore, we're left with 2 equals, uh, I'm sorry, 2 plus x squared minus x equals 5x minus 5. Yes. Now, again, notice, though, we have a squared. So again, I'm thinking, all right, this is a quadratic. I'm going to want to, it's probably either going to be quadratic formula or solving, so on and so forth. So therefore, let's get everything to the same side. So that means I'm going to want to subtract a 5x on both sides and add a 5 to both sides. So x squared, uh, let's see, minus x plus 2, my, or let's do minus 5x plus 2 minus 5 equals 0. Just, oh, sorry, that's plus 5, isn't it? There you go. Now I can combine like terms. x squared minus 6x plus 7 equals 0. OK, that's where I'm stuck. Uh, OK. Because that's not, that's not factorable. It's not factorable. So You're right. It. No, you have to do quadratic formula. Right. Oh, so again, if you guys remember it, when we did our last ones, when we were solving, you could factoring, which is by far the easiest and most preferred. Or you could do, Jack, I'm yes. still teaching. Or you could do quadratic formula or completing the square. Um, in this example, you know, either way, completing the square or quadratic formula would be not too bad. Let's just, do, um, let's just do quadratic formula in this case, just so you guys remember it. Because again, guys, it's fair game. I mean, I'll tell you on your quiz, you're not going to have a problem like this. However, it's fair game. Like, we can do a problem. Just because a problem's not factorable doesn't mean I can't give you a problem. Like, this is a perfectly fine method to be able to solve an equation, all right? So x equals opposite of b, which is 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 36, minus 4 times a times c, which is going to be 28. Again, I'm going to do this a little bit quicker. Divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. x equals 6, a, a is 1, b, c. b squared minus 4 times a times c. I'm just not writing out the quadratic form, but I can show you. Um, this is going to be the square root of 8 over 2. Square root of 8, anybody know? 2.828271. Or can be simplified. 2 squared of 2 over 2. And therefore, x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 2. And then we just want to go back and check our answers. Is, is either the positive or the negative going to be extraneous? No. Can we plug them in? Is it going to make that 0? No. For it to be extraneous, x would have to equal 1, right? So therefore, both these solutions are good. Um, actually, I'll get to this. Why don't I'll give you guys an opportunity to do the quadratic form on the next one. <laughs>